I'll give you a call back around 10. Around 20 people came to the party. This year I made around $25,000. Around, around, around. How many times do you want to keep repeating around? Aren't you tired of using this word again and again and all over again? Isn't it boring to you to have to use this word again and again and all over again just because you don't know other words, other alternatives to this word that you can use instead of it? Well, in today's video, I will focus your attention on all the possible alternatives to the word around to express approximation in English. Let's get started. But before we do so, I kindly want you to like this video in support of this channel. I help you with your English. You please help me with the growth of this channel by liking this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and leave a comment down below by telling me from which country you're watching these videos. Now let's get started. The first alternative to around that we can use to express approximation is the word approximately. Approximately. The adverb approximately. Approximately. We can use approximately to say that close to a number is true. We're not talking about an exact number or figure. We're talking about a number which is close to the one that we're talking about. Maybe less, maybe more, maybe higher or lower. So we can use the word approximately. An example. The journey took approximately three hours. The journey took approximately three hours. The journey took approximately three hours, which means the journey took around three hours or the length of the journey was around three hours. Instead of repeating around, we're using approximately. Now let's move on to the next word that you can use instead of using the word approximately, which is roughly, roughly, roughly. So we can use roughly to express approximation, to say that around a certain number or around a certain amount is what we're talking about. An example, the car costs roughly $20,000. The car costs roughly $20,000. The car costs roughly $20,000, which means the car costs approximately $20,000. So instead of repeating around, we're using roughly, and also we can use approximately. So the car costs roughly $20,000, which means the car costs around or approximately $20,000. Now let me focus your attention on the next alternative to around that you can use instead of repeating this word in a boring way, which is by using the word nearly, nearly, nearly. So we can use nearly with the same meaning as around, approximately or roughly to express approximation. To talk about a number or a figure which is not exact, which is not precise or accurate, which is slightly more or less than the number we're talking about. An example, it's nearly five o'clock. It's nearly five o'clock. It's nearly five o'clock, which means it's around five o'clock. It's roughly five o'clock. It's approximately five o'clock. The next word is almost. Almost. We can use almost to express approximation in the same way as around, approximately, roughly, or nearly. The project is almost done. The project is almost done which means the project is approximately done. The project is roughly done. The project is nearly done. The next word that you will be learning is most probably what you have heard nothing of before, which is circa, 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 circa. We can use circa before numbers, facts and figures, to say that we're talking about a number which is slightly a bit more or less than the number that we're talking about or the number that we have in mind. So circa, an example. The house was built in circa 1920. The house was built in circa 1920. The house was built in circa 1920, which means the house was built in roughly or nearly 1920, or the house was built close to 1920. The house was built around 1920 or approximately in 1920. What we can use next as an alternative to around is a phrase, which you may have seen before, but not have guessed that it can be used with the same meaning as around, which is more or less, more or less, more or less, more or less. An example, it's more or less a two hour drive. 
It's more or less a two-hour drive. It's more or less a two-hour drive, which means it's approximately a two-hour drive. It's nearly, roughly, a two-hour drive. It's close to a two-hour drive. It's around a two-hour drive. It's circa a two-hour drive. So instead of repeating around, like, repeatedly, again and again and all over again in a boring way, we can take advantage of these alternatives to beautify our speech, to beautify our English, and sound more advanced, right? Now let's move on to the next alternative, which is somewhere in the region of, somewhere in the region of, somewhere in the region of. We can use somewhere in the region of to express approximation, to say a number is close to a certain number, or a number is not accurate, precise, or exact. A number is close to a certain number or a certain figure. So, somewhere in the region of. An example, the salary offered is somewhere in the region of $50,000 a year. The salary offered is somewhere in the region of $50,000 a year. The salary offered is somewhere in the region of $50,000 a year, which means the salary is roughly $50,000 a year, is around $50,000 a year, is nearly $50,000 a year, is close to $50,000 a year, is more or less $50,000 a year. So somewhere in the region of a certain amount or number. The next alternative is something in the neighborhood of something in the neighborhood of, something in the neighborhood of, something in the neighborhood of a number. For example, something in the neighborhood of 25, something in the neighborhood of two hours, something in the neighborhood of 10 weeks, something in the neighborhood of $25,000. So we can use something in the neighborhood of before numbers and amounts to describe a number or an amount which is not accurate, precise, or exact, which is close to a number that we're talking about or we have in mind. An example, I don't know exactly how many, but something in the neighborhood of 25 people attended my class. I don't know exactly how many, but something in the neighborhood of 25 people attended my class. I don't know exactly how many, but something in the neighborhood of 25 people attended my class, which means I don't know exactly how many, but roughly, nearly, or around, or more or less, 25 people attended my class. The next phrase that you can use to beautify your speech in order to express approximation is somewhere around, somewhere around. Instead of using around alone, on its own, you can add somber to this word. You can attach somber before it. When somber proceeds around, it makes it more beautiful, right? Doesn't it? Somber around, somber around a number means approximately a number, roughly or nearly a certain number. An example, there were somewhere around 30 guests at the party. There were somewhere around 30 guests at the party. There were somewhere around 30 guests at the party, which means there were roughly 30 guests at the party. There were around 30 guests at the party. Or there were somewhere in the region of or something in the neighborhood of or somewhere around 30 guests at the party. The next phrase that we can use to express approximation is give or take. Give or take. Give or take. We can use give or take to say a number is not exact, precise, or accurate, but close to the number we're talking about or have in mind. An example. It's about 300 kilometers, give or take. It's about 300 kilometers, give or take. It's about 300 kilometers, give or take, which means it's somewhere in the neighborhood of or somewhere in the region of 300 kilometers. It's roughly or approximately 300 kilometers. And the last phrase of today's video that you can use to express approximation is in the vicinity of, in the vicinity of, in the vicinity of. We can use in the vicinity of before numbers, facts, and figures to express approximation.
similar to somewhere in the region of, or something in the neighborhood of, or somewhere around. An example, the house is located in the vicinity of 1,500 square feet. The house is located in the vicinity of 1,500 square feet. The house is located in the vicinity of 1,500 square feet. The house is located in the vicinity of 1,500 square feet, which means the house is located somewhere in the region of or something in the neighborhood of 1,500 square feet. That's about all guys. So in today's video, you learned all these beautiful expressions that you can use to express approximation. Now what I kindly want you to do is like this video in support of this channel, in support of the growth of my YouTube channel, your YouTube channel. This is your YouTube channel, not just mine, yours as well. I help you with your English. You please help me with the growth of this channel. So hit the like button down below right now, immediately. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and leave a comment down below by telling me whether you like the videos or not or what your opinion on the videos is. I'll be back soon.